I think for me it means that that day when we try to project to everyone's consciousness that women are part of the system and an important part of the system and should be recognized as such by everyone. International Women's Day to me is a powerful reminder of the strength, resilience and importance of women in our society. It's not just about celebrating women's achievement, but also about recognizing the challenges they continue to face and advocating for equality. It's a day to reflect on the progress made and to continue pushing for change. It's a day to honor all of the women who have paved the way for others and those who continue to break barriers every day. It's a day of empowerment, solidarity, and hope. For me, International Women's Day should be every day <laughs> because women are not supposed to be recognized once a year. They're supposed to be recognized in every uh, sector and in every part of society every day. But it is important to have International Women's Day so that this consciousness is built over time. We have had International Women's Day for years and years, but what I'm hoping to see as time goes on is a daily consciousness that women need to be part of the decision making, women need to be on the table and women voices need to be part of the everyday voices. So International Women's Day should be celebrated to achieve this purpose. Each year we celebrate International Women's Day to honour the important events, people, movements and progress in addressing gender issues as well as it's time for us to conclude our achievements as well as the reflection from lessons learned from the past year. As Rorsic and some police advisor for Hichabele State, I have actively undertaken initiative to implement United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 within the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. For Hichabele State, I have been promoting and the representation of women by encouraging them to share their inspiration history on the radio program. And additionally, I supported the production of the video on uh, sexual and gender-based violence, SGBV, broadcast in uh, October last year. We featuring the Hichabel Police Gender Focal Point. She talked about her work and her effort in addressing SGBV cases and encouraging the victims to report incidents. I'm speaking for aviation services. We had to make it a, a one of our top priorities to develop capacity in the aviation industry with main focus in gender parity. When we went out to the market, we realized that very little women, especially in Africa, are involved in this type of industry. So we had it from scratch develop a program, an, an integrated program in UNSOS. We went to the colleges and university, motivating them to begin the developing programs like that. Um, for example, Mogadishu has now a first aviation college and where the female students that go through there, when they graduate, then they get attached to UNSAS Aviation Services. They spend three to five months with us in the different specialties in aviation, getting the on-the-job training. So we focus mainly uh, basically on training, uh, coaching, and most important, mentoring the women. Our organization recognizes uh, the contributions that women make for example, now I am a product of investing in women because I am a recent law graduate and I'm a part of UNFBA fellowship whereby young leaders like me are invested mostly women. We are provided with trainings, mentorships and resources to, to reach our full potential. So UNFBA by empowering us enables us to give back to our communities and accelerate the progress that women, Somali women, are making. In my work area as UNSOM Police Advisor, as well as the main gender focal point, we have taken several actions to accelerate women's progress, especially for female participation in police service 
and address gender-based sexual violence. We organize an outreach program to the female community and female graduates to encourage them to join the police service. And yes, we receive good feedback from them. Thank you.